Hey guys, Cam Calendar here. Wanted to bring you Knowledge Blast number eight. And it's all about change. You know, Albert Einstein's definition of insanity was doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results. You know, that's just insane. If you keep doing the same thing, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come out with the same results. So you gotta, you got to do that change. you got to throw some change in there. Do something just a little bit different. You know, many people are still in the loophole of, you know, when it comes to life, like going to school, get good grades so you can go to a good college so you can get, you know, good grades there, and then you can land a good job. You know, so it's like that whole cycle just really doesn't happen anymore. So even landing a job, some people are, you know, still following that same pattern, ending up, you know, average, mediocre, average, mediocre, and keep on doing the same cycle, you know, that happens. You know, there are some outliers as so they do things a little bit differently. You know, it's time for all that to change, you know, make a conscious decision to, you know, change the status quo, do things a little bit different so you can get a little bit different result. You know, so I want to share a quick image with you guys, uh, you know, so that you guys can kind of see this cycle of change. So, you know, there's always this pre-contemplation. So you think about what you want to do, what you want to change, you know, and then you start to really think about how you're going to change. You start planning that change and then you take action. You know, you take action to make that change happen, but then you stick with that to keep that change a permanent result. You know, because if you like, say you go to the gym, you work out for a little bit, you feel better, you start working out for a little while, but then you stop, you don't keep that maintenance going, then eventually it's just going to die out. So, you know, that's kind of where it's at. You know, as far as change, you got to keep that going. You got to keep moving to the next level, seeing what you want to do, you know, keep those things going. You know, kind of bring it into an MSI network marketing standpoint for years. Network marketing has been that edge that allows the average person to really get ahead on life, you know, and make that change in their life. You know, you see it all the time. There's always stories of people that have changed their lives. You know, it's the only vehicle that's really allowed people to build part-time and return full-time results. You know, they can take a little bit of time here to make a lifetime, you know, a fortune with network marketing. Because when it first started, there was no limit to network marketing. There's no products. There's no regulations. It was just out there. Now it's taking time to really hone in, get it right, make sure everything's good to go, you know, and get all the right products, you know, root, weed out everything. That's just kind of the scams and all that that people were saying before. You know, scams way back in the day, those type of things you can't even do anymore. Like, you know, the scams that happened in the two, uh, late 2000, 1999, 80s, back in the days, like you can't even do those type of scams anymore. Like it's not even possible. They're found out so quickly and they shut down doors instantly with, you know, lawsuits and all kinds of things with the, like regulations with the FTC. So, you know, those different types of things are in place now that weren't back then, you know, but network marketing as a whole has been a great opportunity. You know, it has created more six figure earners than any other industry that I know of. You know, it, and I think it's going to create the most millionaires soon enough too. You know, it's cre starting to create millionaires in this industry, you know, so I think the top money earners are, you know, all going to be business owners. They're all owners, you know, some of the top people, top 3% of the world, you know, that are earning all the money are all owners. They all own different businesses, different operations, you know, coincidence. I don't think so. You know, owning is where it's at, you know, and that's really the only security you can have in your financial life is to start owning assets. You know, and you may feel secure in your job or, you know, what you're working on, you know, but that can be changed at any time, most of the time without your control. So, you know, you know, it even happens to some owners, you know, they can get pushed out of their own companies. They can go out of business, you know, many, many, many businesses fail in their first five years. So, you know, it's really something to look at, you know, but it, those owners that make it past that benchmark of that five years, they've really got something locked in. I mean, you can even look at the late great Steve Jobs. At one point, he was pushed out of Apple when he was at the head of it, at the start of it. So, you know, it's, you know, lucky for him, he was able to get back in and really, you know, ramp it up to what it is today. But, it, you know, and that doesn't always happen when you know there. Most of the times, once you get pushed out, you, you're out, you know. But in summary, owning your own destiny by, you know, owning all the responsibilities and, you know, basically putting yourself in there, making that change happen for yourself. Think about what you want to change, contemplate it, get the planning together, and then take action. Take action to make sure that your change is a, a big change to your life. You know, if you don't like where you're at right now, or you don't like, you know, what, what you have, or, you know, where you're going to be in the next five years, make a change. Just change it. Change up something to make it a little bit different. And you make that little bit of a change, you can go a long way and truly change your life. So if you don't want the last five years, to look like the next five years, make a change. So that's Cam Calendar. Wanted to bring you that knowledge blast. Hope you have a great Friday.